Erin Moran, whose fate was intertwined with her singular portrayal of Joni Cunningham, navigated a life fraught with hardships largely unknown to the public. Contrary to expectations, Happy Days, the sitcom that promised to be the gateway to her professional triumph, ironically marked the onset of her decline. Following the show's conclusion, Moran found herself trapped in a career impasse, unable to secure another significant role. This professional stagnation plunged her into a persistent state of depression that shadowed her until her final days. For those unaware of these aspects of Erin Moran's journey, this video offers a revealing glimpse into her life. Let's get started. Erin Moran, known for her captivating role in the iconic television sitcom Happy Days, became a beloved figure in the global TV audience. In the show, she played Joni Cunningham, the younger sister of the main character, Richie Cunningham, portrayed by Ron Howard. This role placed Moran firmly in the spotlight as a child star, a status that often comes with its own unique challenges and opportunities. For Ron Howard, Happy Days was a significant career milestone. It marked his successful transition from a child star to an accomplished adult actor and eventually an esteemed Hollywood director. This evolution is a rare feat in the entertainment industry, where many child actors struggle to maintain their relevance as they grow older. Howard's journey from a child star in Happy Days to a respected director is a testament to his talent and adaptability in the ever-evolving world of show business. Aaron Moran's experience with Happy Days, however, contrasts starkly with Howard's. While the show catapulted her to fame, it also typecast her in a way she found difficult to break away from. The role of Joni Cunningham became so synonymous with Moran that it overshadowed her other endeavors and defined her career. This irony highlights the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry, where the very roles that bring actors fame can also limit their future opportunities. Aaron Moran's journey in Happy Days reflects a remarkable trajectory from a recurring to a central figure in the show. Initially cast in a supporting role, Moran's character, Joni Cunningham, was not the focal point in the show's first season. However, as the series progressed, her role expanded significantly, showcasing her talent and appeal to the audience. Ron Howard's departure from Happy Days after its seventh season marked a pivotal moment for Moran. Howard, who played Richie Cunningham, was a key character, and his exit could have been a setback for the show. However, Moran's character Joni stepped into the spotlight, becoming one of the main attractions for the audience. This shift in focus not only highlighted Moran's capabilities as an actress, but also demonstrated her character's popularity among the viewers. Moran's tenure on Happy Days, which began when she was just 13 years old, was not just a job, but a significant part of her formative years. Growing up on the set, she experienced her adolescence and early adulthood in a unique environment, surrounded by the cast and crew who became part of her extended family. This experience undoubtedly shaped her both personally and professionally. Scott Bio's introduction to the show in its fifth season as Chachi Arcola, a supporting character, mirrored Moran's earlier experience on the show. Bio's character eventually became more prominent, paralleling Moran's character development. Chachi's role as Joanie's love interest added a new dimension to the storyline, contributing significantly to retaining audience interest in the later, possibly less dynamic seasons of Happy Days. Happy Days, an iconic sitcom that captured the hearts of millions, enjoyed a successful run of 11 seasons. A notable aspect of its long-standing popularity was its ability to remain engaging even after the departure of Ron Howard, who played one of the main characters, Richie Cunningham. Howard's exit after the seventh season could have been a significant blow to the show, but Happy Days demonstrated remarkable resilience and adaptability. Interestingly, Howard made a return as a guest star in the final season, which was a nostalgic nod to the show's earlier days and a treat for longtime fans. In the post-Howard era, the focus of Happy Days shifted significantly.
The characters Joni Cunningham, played by Aaron Moran, and Chachi Arcola, portrayed by Scott Bio, became central to the show's appeal. Their on-screen chemistry and storyline were major factors in retaining the show's audience, which, although dwindling, remained loyal. The relationship between Joni and Chachi resonated with viewers, offering a fresh and engaging aspect to the series. Recognizing the popularity of these characters, studio executives decided to create a spin-off centered around Joni and Chachi. Titled Joni Loves Chachi, this new sitcom was an attempt to capitalize on the duo's appeal from Happy Days. The concept seemed promising, and expectations were high for it to replicate the success of its predecessor. However, reality did not meet expectations. Joni Loves Chachi struggled to find its footing and did not resonate with audiences as hoped. The show faced challenges in capturing the same charm and appeal as Happy Days. As a result, it was short-lived, ending before the completion of its first season. This abrupt conclusion was a disappointment, not only to the fans, but also to Moran and Bayo, who had invested their talents in the spin-off. The premature end of Joni Loves Chachi left its stars in a state of uncertainty, pondering their future career paths in an industry that is often unpredictable and unforgiving. Joni Loves Chachi, the spin-off from the beloved sitcom Happy Days, faced an early cancellation in 1983, an event that significantly impacted the careers of its stars, Aaron Moran and Scott Bio. This cancellation occurred while Happy Days was still on the air, which presented an opportunity for Moran and Bayo to reprise their roles as Joni and Chachi in the final season of The Parent Show. Their return to Happy Days was a temporary respite, allowing them to once again embrace the characters that had brought them fame. However, the end of Happy Days marked a period of uncertainty for both actors, the show had been a significant part of their lives and careers, and moving on from such iconic roles posed a challenge. For Scott Bio, this transition period was relatively short-lived. In 1984, just a year after Joni Loves Chachi was canceled, Bio secured a leading role in another sitcom, Charles in Charge. This new role not only marked a successful comeback for Bio, but also became a defining part of his career. Charles in Charge was a hit, and Bio's performance was well-received, allowing him to step out of the shadow of Chachi and establish himself as a versatile actor in his own right. Aaron Moran's post-Happy Days career trajectory, however, was less fortunate. Despite her talent and the fame she had garnered from playing Joni Cunningham, Moran struggled to find roles that matched the success of Happy Days, her journey reflects a common challenge faced by actors who achieve early success in iconic roles, the difficulty of breaking typecasting and finding new opportunities that allow them to grow and showcase their range. The post-Happy Days career of Aaron Moran, who rose to fame as Joni Cunningham on the show, was marked by a struggle to find roles that matched the success and visibility she experienced in the iconic sitcom. After the series concluded, Moran faced the challenging task of reinventing herself in an industry that often typecasts actors based on their most notable roles. Moran's career post-Happy Days involved guest appearances on various television programs, including popular shows like Murder, She Wrote. However, these roles, while showcasing her talents, did not provide her with the same level of success or recognition that she had achieved as Joni. This reality is not uncommon in the entertainment industry, where actors often struggle to find equally impactful roles after being part of a hugely successful project. As time passed, Moran's relationship with Happy Days grew more complex. The show that had brought her fame and success also became a source of frustration. This sentiment is echoed in the actions of several Happy Days stars, including Moran, who felt that they were not adequately compensated for their contributions to the show's success, especially concerning merchandise rights. This sense of unresolved financial recognition led Moran and a few of her co-stars to file a lawsuit against CBS, the owner of the sitcom. 
Their contention centered around the belief that they were owed money for the use of their likenesses in show-related merchandise. The lawsuit was a significant move, reflecting the actor's efforts to claim a share of the profits generated from a show that had a lasting cultural impact and continued to generate revenue through various channels, including merchandise. After the conclusion of Happy Days and the subsequent failure of the spin-off Joni Loves Chachi, Erin Moran faced significant personal and professional challenges. She openly spoke about the onset of depression during this period, a common issue many actors face when transitioning away from roles that define their careers. Moran's struggle was deeply intertwined with the iconic nature of her character, Joni Cunningham. The fame and recognition she received for this role became a double-edged sword. While it brought her into the limelight, it also typecast her, making it difficult for her to secure diverse roles that differed from her character on Happy Days. This typecasting is a frequent challenge in the entertainment industry, where actors often become so associated with a particular character that audiences and casting directors find it hard to envision them in other roles. In the years following Happy Days, Moran found opportunities for guest appearances in various television shows, but these roles were often minor and did not offer the same level of professional fulfillment or recognition as her work on Happy Days. Her career trajectory illustrates a common pattern among actors who achieve early success in a defining role, only to find that their subsequent career paths do not always align with their aspirations or talents. During this time of professional uncertainty, Moran's personal life saw significant changes as well. She married her first husband, Rocky Ferguson. This transition to a new phase in her personal life might have offered her a respite from the challenges she faced in her acting career. However, it is common for actors who experience early fame to encounter difficulties in balancing their personal lives with the demands and uncertainties of their professional careers. Aaron Moran's marriage to Rocky Ferguson, which lasted from 1987 to 1993, coincided with a stagnant period in her acting career. The end of this marriage was quickly followed by her second marriage to Stephen Fleischman. This new chapter in her personal life began just months after her divorce from Ferguson. Fleischman and Moran remained together until her untimely death in 2017, marking a significant and enduring partnership in her life. During their years together, Fleischman was a constant presence through what would become Moran's most challenging times. He was by her side during her final moments, providing support as she faced her life's end. Their relationship, while enduring and significant to Moran, was mostly kept out of the public eye. Both Moran and Fleischman appeared to lead a relatively private life, especially in the early years of their marriage, and neither found notable public success during this time. In 2011, Moran made headlines again, but not for her acting work. She, along with four other cast members of Happy Days, filed a lawsuit against CBS. The lawsuit stemmed from disputes over unpaid royalties from merchandise related to Happy Days. This legal action indicated that despite the passing years, there remained unresolved issues regarding compensation and rights from the show that had brought more on her fame. The lawsuit highlighted the ongoing struggles actors often face in securing fair compensation for their work, especially regarding residual and merchandise revenues. The lawsuit Erin Moran and her former Happy Days co-stars filed against CBS was a significant moment in their post-show careers, highlighting the complex and often contentious issue of actors' rights to compensation from merchandise sales. Moran was joined in this legal battle by Don Most, Anson Williams, Marion Ross, and the estate of the late Tom Bosley. Their collective claims centered around the allegation that they had been deprived of proper compensation for merchandise inspired by Happy Days that featured their likenesses. Happy Days, being a highly successful and popular show, had spawned a vast array of merchandise over the years. This range of products included clothing, trading cards, board games, comic books, toys, lunchboxes, and DVDs. 
These items, which capitalized on the show's popularity and the appeal of its characters, were significant because they generated substantial revenue. However, the actors argued that they had not received their fair share of the profits from these sales, which they were entitled to under their contracts. The lawsuit initially sought a substantial sum, $10 million to be divided among the five parties. This amount reflected the actors' assessment of what they were owed in back royalties from the extensive merchandise sales. However, the legal proceedings did not result in the windfall they had hoped for. Eventually, the settlement reached awarded them only around $60,000 each. This outcome was a fraction of their original claim, illustrating the challenges actors face in claiming a share of profits from merchandise and the complexities involved in such legal disputes in the entertainment industry. The aftermath of the lawsuit against CBS brought a temporary surge in public attention for Erin Moran, but not in the manner she might have hoped for. Instead of reviving her acting career or leading to positive developments, Moran continued to appear in public for increasingly distressing reasons. Her battle with depression, which had been an ongoing struggle since the end of Happy Days, persisted and began to intersect with other challenging aspects of her life, including financial difficulties. During this period, Moran and her husband, Stephen Fleischman, were living with Fleischman's parents in a trailer park in Indiana. The financial settlement they received from the Happy Days lawsuit provided some relief, but it was only a temporary solution. The money from the settlement sustained them for a few months, but as it ran out, their situation became more precarious. The financial strain was accompanied by heightened personal tensions. A particularly troubling incident occurred when Moran was reportedly kicked out of the trailer by her mother-in-law following an altercation described as a drunken brawl. This incident not only highlighted the severity of Moran's personal and financial challenges, but also underscored the distance between her current life circumstances and the heights of her earlier fame. After the tumultuous incident that led to Aaron Moran being kicked out of the trailer, she and her husband, Stephen Fleischman, worked towards recuperating from this low point. Despite the challenges they faced, their relationship endured, and they were able to celebrate their 24th wedding anniversary together. This milestone was a testament to their enduring bond in the face of adversity. However, the brief period of happiness was soon overshadowed by alarming health concerns. Following their anniversary celebration, Moran started experiencing troubling symptoms that were initially subtle but increasingly concerning. A particularly alarming sign was the discovery of blood on her pillow when she woke up in the mornings. This unsettling symptom, which persisted almost daily, eventually compelled Moran to seek medical attention. The recurrence of such symptoms is often a clear signal that something is amiss, health-wise, prompting necessary medical evaluation. Initially, the doctors diagnosed her condition as tonsillitis, a relatively common and typically non-serious condition. However, as her symptoms persisted and possibly evolved, it became clear that this diagnosis was incorrect. Further medical investigation revealed a much more serious condition, throat cancer. This diagnosis marked a drastic and devastating turn in Moran's life. Throat cancer, depending on its stage and aggressiveness, can be a life-altering diagnosis, requiring intensive treatment and care. Moran began undergoing chemotherapy, a common treatment for cancer that can be both physically and emotionally taxing. Unfortunately, following her diagnosis, Moran's physical health rapidly deteriorated. The swift decline in her condition following the cancer diagnosis is indicative of the aggressive nature of some cancer types and the challenges they pose, even with treatment like chemotherapy. In early 2017, just a few months after her diagnosis, Erin Moran's health had deteriorated to a critical point. She reached a stage where basic functions like eating and drinking became impossible without assistance, and even speaking became an arduous task. This rapid decline in her health was indicative of the severe progression of her throat cancer, underscoring the aggressive nature of the disease and its devastating impact on her physical capabilities. Tragically, Moran's battle with cancer came to an end on April 22, 2017, 
Her passing marked a somber closure to a life that had been filled with both remarkable highs and profound lows. In the wake of her death, there was speculation and rumor about the cause, particularly given her well-documented struggles in life. Notably, her former co-star and on-screen partner Scott Bio speculated publicly that drugs and alcohol might have played a role in her demise. This speculation was likely fueled by the challenges Moran had faced in her post-Happy Days life, including her battles with depression and financial instability. However, those who were close to Moran, including her husband Stephen Fleischman and others who were intimately aware of her health struggles, knew that the true cause of her death was throat cancer. The speculation by others underscores a common issue where public figures' personal struggles can lead to misconceptions and unfounded rumors about their lives and deaths. The final years of Moran's life were marked by significant challenges. The progression of her cancer and the physical decline she experienced were just the last in a series of turbulent events that characterized much of her life. From the heights of fame on happy days to the personal and professional struggles that followed, Moran's journey was indeed fraught with turbulence and hardship. Following Aaron, Moran's passing, reactions among her former Happy Days co-stars varied, reflecting the different relationships and experiences they had shared with her. While Scott Bio's comments were less than kind, others from the cast remembered Moran in a more positive light, highlighting the impact she had on them and the show. Henry Winkler, who portrayed the iconic character Fonzie on Happy Days, joined in sharing tributes. Winkler's character was one of the most beloved on the show, and his words carried weight for the many fans who had grown attached to the series and its cast. However, it was Ron Howard's response that stood out particularly. Howard, who played Moran's on-screen brother, Richie Cunningham, took to social media to express his sentiments. His message was not just a tribute to a former co-star, but a reflection of the warm and positive memories he held of Moran. Howard chose to focus on Moran's contributions to Happy Days, emphasizing her role in enhancing scenes, drawing laughs, and lighting up TV screens. His words painted a picture of Moran as a vibrant and talented actress whose presence on set was not only professional, but also uplifting. Howard's decision to remember Moran for her positive impact on Happy Days offered a counter-narrative to the more troubled aspects of her later life, reminding the public of the joy and entertainment she brought to many during her time on the show. Aaron Moran's death marked the end of a life that had seen significant fame, personal struggles, and professional challenges. She left behind no children, but her legacy as Joni Cunningham on Happy Days endures. This character and the show itself hold a special place in the hearts of those who watched and loved the series. What do you think about these little-known details of Aaron Moran's life and career? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.